Right by the waterfront, too. It's nine Fahrenheit? Yikes. Nine Fahrenheit? I have my window open. I don't... Oh, actually, yeah, no, that's a cool breeze coming through. <laughs> what is nine Fahrenheit in Celsius? I think we're supposed to get the minus... Yeah, it's minus... Oh, it's 14 Fahrenheit here, so you're actually a lot colder than than Toronto. But if, okay, so hang on. It's 14 Fahrenheit, but it feels like minus nine. Is that right? That can't be right. Let me put it back to Celsius. I can't think in Fahrenheit. Okay, yeah, no, it's minus 10 Celsius. Feels like minus 23 Celsius. It's good old wind. It's a chilly one out there. Yeah, 14 Fahrenheit feels like minus 9 Fahrenheit. It's 4 Fahrenheit where you, where you are? Brr. Near me you can rent a kayak to do whale watching. Okay, that would be fun. Uh, I forgot what we were doing here. Let me look at my instructions. Visit the Stone Museum. Okay, so let's head that way. Just want to make sure we don't... Oh, what's that over there? Oh, I thought it was something else. Sixty-four in my house. It feels great. It's like fifty-five where you are. Damn. I think I've got my heat cranked on my house. I think I have it set for 69 Fahrenheit. I don't like a cold house. Even though I've got like three floors to heat, <laughs> I don't care. My bedroom's on the top floor and it's freezing up there. Yeah, it's 68 Fahrenheit right now in my house. It's the kayak o -mat. Oh, I bet you you can go to that website and rent a kayak. Love it. Where's my bicycle? Stone Museum. I love a cold bedroom. Welcome to the Kettlevik Stone Museum. How many spokes do the cranes in the exhibition have? I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. Trivia. What was the fac how was the facility powered? Oh, uh, water? Uh I don't know what this is. Okay, we clearly need to figure out the trivia here. The main character is Carol Reed. She is the detective in all of these games. She's basically the Nancy Drew of the series. Carol Reed. Oh, another gorgeous view here. Holy moly. All right, we got some trivia, folks. The water looks like your eyes? <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. All right, trivia. The spokes. Okay, so what do we got here for spokes? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's gotta be six, right? This thing is using for picking up heavy loads, apparently. Hmm. Oh, and there's our code that we needed. Okay, let me write this down. 
I think we've got this now, Grimy. Look, we've got the, the mystery code. We're good, we're good. I just wrote it down. The birds are chirping. So basically this crane was used for stone masonry or something. Random person in their clothing. Open on Sundays. Oh, open Saturdays and Sundays. Or call. Do Nordic countries have rooms like that? Absolutely. Yeah, it's like that whole Nordic uh, Viking kind of thing, right? Like Sweden was huge Viking, right? Just like Finland, not as much, but Sweden, Norway, Sweden, and Denmark, right? Finland to a certain extent. Okay, let's see if I can use the phone here. Nice. I can't take your call at this time. If you're calling about the lost key near the stairs by the Adam and Eva Club, please leave your number. Leave my number. Lynn, how are you doing? Welcome back. We are playing a Carol Reed mystery. It's kind of like a Nancy Drew visit Sweden sort of vibe. Okay, how do I get out of here? Oh. Oh, I got a turn. This looks like we have another location we can visit. Somebody's glasses. My brother-in-law wants a Viking funeral? Those are illegal here? What? Oh, where they like light you on fire on a boat or whatever? Oh, what's this? Looks like we need to get the key before we can get in here. I don't think this will work. No, okay. Excellent. So I guess we're heading to the club. We're going to the club. So this must be some like museum of sorts. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have a six and a five. Six and five. And those runes, I guess we can try. Oh, I can't get in there. The birds are chirping. This is the right answer, five and six. Uh, it's gotta be wind, right? And then it's this one, this one, and then two of these. Uh, I don't know what this is. You like the way the scenery is done? Yeah. Okay, I don't know what this is. We'll have to figure out this at some point. Guess we're out of here. Okay, so we'll have to figure that. Yeah, look at that, eh? It looks gorgeous. Pictures just uh, make this game look incredible. It takes place in Sweden. All of the Carol Reed games take place in Sweden. It's basically a local detective solving local mysteries. All right, we're going to the club. So that's exit. Hmm.
Lovely. Well, why am I going to the club? To get the key, I think, right? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. We gotta go to the right. Hmm. Michael Coons. Call me. We can look at the fireworks from the bridge at Carnival Night Stitka. Can I use my phone? Not yet. It is a stone museum. I don't know if what we're supposed to do with this. No, we can't. Who the heck is Stitka? Unless that's his last name, maybe? Okay, we're back up the stairs. Now we're going up these stairs. We got some foosball. Look at that. Outdoor foosball. Screwdriver, I will take you. Look at that. Nice foosball table. I guess we keep on marching here. Rock climbing or something. Is this like a school? Hmm. Carnival, Saturday, June 3rd. Drinks, live music, food. Free entry fireworks at the west side of Gallant Bridge, 10 p.m. Okay, the arrow says go this way. And look here, it looks like. But how do I get there? Hmm. Basketball net in here, too. It's a long shot, but maybe I'll find that key there. I'll set my sights low. Okay, I guess we gotta leave here and go to the bridge lookout. I guess it's this way. Beautiful. No, nope, not this way. Okay, back up the stairs then. To our bicycle. Bridge lookout. Here we go. So, hmm, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Bridge lookout, might be uh, this part here maybe. Man, this is uh... Looks pretty darn cool. Uh, a sprite can. Hmm. 
I'm not seeing anything here. Oh, maybe there's these ones. Aha! We got ourselves a bicycle lamp. And the key. Key from Lookout. I think that's what we needed. Now we gotta go back to the Stone Museum. Peter Mysoft, I should have also told you that Obloff had a cabin that he used for wild boar hunting. I have no idea where it is though. Thanks, Peter. Stone Museum? So we're gonna have to figure that out eventually. Maybe it's in a book somewhere inside the building here. Let's check that out. Because we have the key. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, we just left the building. Oh, check that out. Okay. You know what, it might be easier if I take a picture of that. Definitely feeling like Nancy Drew with random things hidden like that. So that was the final clue we needed. So let's go solve this mystery then. Five and six, wind. Let me go that one, that one, and then two of these. Now, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. so these are fine. This one needs to be straight, that's straight, and that's fine. Congratulations, you've been observant visitor. For yet another vintage crane, visit the crane in Fiskby by the quay near the riding school. Excellent! We found another location for us to visit. Yeah, yeah, yeah! To Fiskby Crane! Another crane in the middle of nowhere. Good, 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 I think. Maybe, I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. We need to find anything useful. Yeah, I feel like this engine would actually be great for Nancy Drew. Get the voice acting in here. And you're laughing. That's the one on the picture. Good to know. Which picture? Hmm. So it must be around here somewhere. The next clue. Yep, this way. Oh, this might be the cabin he uses for boar hunting, maybe. I don't know. 
we're about to find out. Ooh. This looks super sketchy. This looks very sketchy. 